What is up, Dinesh here, and in this video I want to talk about a tool that I have tried out recently, which can be very, very helpful for you for your AR VR creation, especially if you are not a developer, so you cannot code. But first, welcome to this channel. If you are new here, this channel is all about AR VR creation. So whether you're a developer, a designer, someone who wants to do business, whatever you want to do, if you want to grow in the AR VR industry, then feel free to subscribe below and yeah, let's get started with the video. The app that I've recently tried out is called Vori and you can download this on Steam, on yeah, all VR platforms basically. And Vori helps you to ideate, visualize and communicate XR experiences all within VR. So basically it is an animation and prototyping software for VR and AR. So why could this be interesting for you? First of all, one of the main concepts how we do prototyping is that basically everyone who does UX has its own kind of iteration process. There is not like one tool that you use. So it could be like you use your camera, your DLSR camera plus Blender plus After Effects and then you kind of merge it together into something or you can do it or you should do it in Unity for example with the um, with something like Bold if you cannot code yourself or you use Unreal. So there's all like those technical hassles that kind of like for one thing that is um, already possible for non-AR VR UX which is something like Figma or Sketch. So basically if you cannot code or use visual coding you are kind of screwed. And we should not underestimate the importance of UX for AR and VR applications. Especially since it's such a new field, many um, companies or apps games don't really think about those concepts too much. They just put some features in and then they are not tested and of course nobody can use them. So UX is pretty important as you know, especially for those new tools as well. And yeah, with Puri you can save a lot of time by creating those prototypes really fast, which then in the end saves money and your time. To me, I would kind of describe it like, yes, as I said already, like Figma or Sketch for XR. So what are some of my favorite features? Of course, you can check out the full list um, by yourself or by just checking out their website. But some of those that I really like that I can show you now. So first of all, their UX is really great. You can have a lot of cool things with the controllers as well. It's kind of like um, similar to Tilt Brush, for example, where it's also very intuitive on how to yeah, build things in VR. And I haven't seen many apps that um, think so much about UX. I mean, of course, it's a prototyping tool, so they gotta have good UX. One of my most favorite features is that you can import and export a lot. So you can import complete 3D scenes, you can um, integrate some other tools to it, you can have your own assets and very easily bring them into Tvori, which is something that makes the whole yeah, development much easier. You can then export to a Unity project, of course, uh, general 3D stuff with all the animations included. You can export to standalone, which is pretty amazing. So basically you have an exe file that you can just yeah, play and then you, have a, you could even have a multi-user experience with um, different headsets on. And that is really, really cool. So it's not like Tvori and Tvori only. You can just build it in Tvori and then show it to someone. Uh, who needs to see it, you can just send them the compiled file and he can just check it out, which is pretty nice. You can easily animate and simulate interactions without any line of code, which is really cool. And yeah, if you are quite fast or if you are a bit experienced with Tori, then you can build things really fast because of the shortcuts and all of that stuff. So what are some limitations of Tori? Of course, I wanna be um, show both sides. It's not like all perfect. There are some downsides, of course, like every software. And one of the downsides that I have seen for now is that there are no um, interactions really. So there's no logic blocks or something like this. So everything is simulated or animated really. One other downside is that it's quite pricey. It is not made for the general hobby guy, person, girl, whatever. It is really like more focused on enterprise, which means that um, if you are, if you want more features, of course there's a free version, which has like very basic stuff. But then if you want those import export features, for example, then you gotta pay as of now around 130 euros or dollars per month. 
And one small downside, which um, is something that we could work on, there is not that much content online on how to use it or what amazing things you can build with this stuff, because there is a lot of opportunities, or not opportunities, but a lot of possibilities that you can use this for. So if that is something that you want me to create as well, then definitely let me know. Your feedback always decides on what kind of content I put on this channel. So definitely check it out and let me know if you want me to do more of that stuff or if you want me to focus on something else. Because again, your voice matters here. So this is Tvori, definitely check it out. Um, there's the free version, so you can always check out the free version. If you want, you can tell me, I can get in contact with them and maybe we can make a special deal for some of you guys who really want to seriously use it. Of course, the main use for this kind of tool is that if you are working in some company already and it helps you work, you want to tell it to your manager and they buy it for you basically. That's the, the main target group really. Um, otherwise it would be kind of expensive. But again, if that is something for you, if that is helpful for you, then always let me know and I will create more content for you. And really looking forward to what you say about it if you like it or not. And also just for them and for us as well, um, just tell me out of curiosity what you would like for Tvori to change. Maybe there is some feature that you really, really need and really want. If you would have this feature, then you would already use it or maybe the pricing or something else. If of course you have any feedback, leave it to me or just send it to them directly. Um, just from own experience. It is just so helpful when you have people communicating with your product, for example, that tell you which stuff they like and which stuff you don't like really. So yeah, definitely let me know the feedback in the comments below or privately on LinkedIn, <laughs> whatever you want to do. And yeah. So this is it for the video. And I know I haven't been posting so much recently. This is because I'm working on something really, really awesome. And if I say it's amazing, then it's super amazing so if you want to stay tuned and if you want to know what i'm working on or what me and my team are working on then definitely check out the comments below there's the link of the website you can register to the newsletter so you are one of the very first who will be notified because it's gonna be limited so we will launch a private beta very soon for something really cool if you want to, if you want to be in there then check out the link below and I'm looking forward to see you guys. As always, I see you in the next one.